thanks to Google. How to automate arts, culture, and entertainment, also known as PACE, is increasing access to the arts by using technology. From a symphony of sweet-sounding music. C. C, 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 D. To a children's theater workshop. <sighs> to a cake decorating class. All are examples of the kind of programming PACE is bringing to the community thanks to a $25,000 grant from Google. This grant with Google has allowed us to purchase cameras, uh, microphones, video conferencing systems, as well as hire our local videographers to help us capture that content and get it out to people. Pay CEO Dana Kem anticipates the pandemic will change the way patrons consume art. There's going to be some expectation that digital will be, a, be a part of that, whether it's a class, whether it's a concert, um, whether it's a performance on stage. Video producer Kent Hertz films the content for Pace. Shooting the arts for a digital format challenges him creatively. The way I shoot it is kind of like sitcom style, so multicam. Um, I'll have different shots for different scenes. And uh, it's a little more engaging for the audience because you're, you, don't, you have multiple perspectives. Creating online programming has enabled Pace to reach more than 31,000 people. Ken believes the numbers reflect humanity's hunger for creativity. We're all connected and that the arts will truly see us through these challenging times and that on the other side of this, I think arts will help us heal as well. Reporting in Council Bluffs, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.